Nope. Nah. Where are the racing games on the GBA? Nah, we're talking. I already played this one. Racing games on the Game Boy Advance. Sometimes you have to do what Sonic says and go fast. Unfortunately, there's speed limits and street lights and laws or whatever. But in the video game world, it's a free for all. We've seen our fair share of racing games on the channel, like Mario Kart Super Circuit and F Zero GP Legends. Let's see what else is out there. Need for Speed on the Game Boy Advance. Of course, Need for Speed was on everything back in the day. And the GBA saw Need for Speed Porsche, Need for Speed Underground, Underground 2, Need for Speed Carbon. As a kid, I remember playing Carbon on my DS and my cousin had it on the PSP and it was night and day. But my god, the GBA version. It hurts my eyes. I can count the frames. There has to be better racing games on here though. Maybe I should stick to the classics, like Mario Kart. But not Mario Kart because we've already seen that game. But there are different types of kart racers on the GBA. Ants Extreme Racing. Ah! Shrek Swamp Kart Speedway. Ah! It got worse. Crazy Frog Racer. Do you remember this thing? I just unlocked a memory hidden deep inside my brain. The annoying thing. This frog was everywhere like in 2003 and I had erased it from my memory. But maybe the racing game could be a hidden gem. A secret masterpiece perhaps. It sucks. I guess Mario Kart is the king of racing for a reason. Maybe Banjo Pilot can give it some competition. In this game, you fly around and you can go higher or lower while racing in the game. It has characters from Rare and it has interesting power-ups and locations. It's not as good as the other racing games from Rare like Diddy Kong Racing, receiving a 68 out of 100 from Metacritic, which is fair. But there is one worthy opponent to Mario Kart, Konami Crazy Racers. First off, the menu is clean, going for that desktop look and a car garage aesthetic. The game runs just as smooth as Mario Kart and the graphics are nice. Finally, a worthy opponent. Finally, a worthy opponent. Our battle will be legendary. But what about non-kart racers? Some games push the limits of the system like Smash and Run and Stuntman, but we've seen those before. Ah, Cruise and Velocity, the classic racing arcade games. Released in 2001 by Midway, this game actually used the same engine as Dark Arena on the GBA, which we've also seen on this channel before. Cruise and Velocity received mixed reviews with a 53 out of 100 from Metacritic. It runs kind of sluggish and just doesn't have that arcadey feeling from the arcade counterparts. Now if arcade racing isn't your forte, how about Rally Racing? V Rally 3 Racing. Hey, I remember those names. V Rally 3 Racing is a great game. And I'm not a big fan of rally racing games, but this game is fun. The menus have a lot of options. You can customize your cars, play solo tracks, and regular races. The game runs smooth, and I like driving in different parts of the world. The game got an 82 out of 100 from Metacritic. And another rally game that was highly rated on the GBA is Colin McRae 2.0. This game was praised on the PS1 and PC and the Game Boy Advance. Menu-wise, it's not as feature-rich as V Rally 3, but the simplicity doesn't take away from the game itself. You can race by yourself or in a race with other cars. The physics are great, and this is one of the best controlling GBA racing games I've tried. If you like rally racing, this game is an excellent port on the GBA. So it turns out there are great racing games on the GBA besides Mario Kart and F Zero. I didn't even look at the non-3D racing games, but that's a whole nother topic. I mainly wanted to stick to 3D racing games to see what the GBA was capable of. Rally racing games are great on the system, there was plenty of kart racers on here, and the GBA even got 3 F0 games if you count Climax which came out only in Japan. Climax is probably the best F0 on the system, but it's unfortunate that it only released in Japan, and I know what you're thinking. How are you playing it on your North American GBA? Well, you see, um, actually, well... Getting into my car made me realize the car is the best place to play these racing games on the GBA. So I parked somewhere with a nice view, brought my HDMI adapter to plug into the car screen to play the advance on there. Let's turn the volume up. Ah, the bass makes it seem really real. Now this is the way to play racing games on the GBA. Wait a minute, I left the car and drive, didn't I? Ah, dang. Well